Hi everyone, this is going to be the tarot forecast for the sign of Sagittarius for March 2023. This can apply if you're a Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, as well as North Node. So be sure to check out the other signs in case this video does not resonate with you. Also, this is a general reading, so not all the messages may resonate. So take what resonates and leave out the rest. Also, I am taking bookings for personal readings right now. So if you'd like to book a reading with me, whether that's a natal chart analysis, a sinistry chart reading or tarot, you can drop me a message on Facebook or email. Put the links on the description box below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So let's get started, Sagittarius. <clears throat> the first card I have for you is the Five of Pentacles. The second is the Knight of Wands. The third one is the High Priestess. Next one is the Page of Wands in reverse. The next one is the Queen of Wands. And the last one is the Six of Cups. Okay, Sagittarius. So I feel like the month of March starts off with some of you maybe feeling a little bit dejected or feeling left out. Or maybe you haven't got what you wanted. Like, for example, if you're trying to manifest something, uh, maybe it hasn't happened and you, you're wondering why it hasn't turned up yet or hasn't shown up yet. So there's this feeling of dejection that I'm picking up for you. But that may be sometime during like the first week of March. Afterwards, I think it's going to go away, that feeling. But I would caution you against making any hasty decisions because of this Five of Pentacles feeling. So if you're feeling like uh, you don't have enough options or let's say, you know, you're feeling left out or you, whatever you wanted to manifest is not showing up, be cautious about being in that desperate situation where you just make a hasty decision because I'm seeing the Knight of Wands here. That is your energy, Sagittarius, but it also signifies this energy of being very reckless, impulsive, making hasty decisions, uh, like on the spur of the moment. Um, so there's nothing wrong with making a quick decision as long as it's well thought out. Like sometimes uh, decisions are very instinctual, they're based on gut instinct. So if that's the case, definitely go for it. If you feel it's true for you, if you feel it to be true in your heart and you know, you resonate with that decision, definitely go ahead with it. But if it's something born out of a sense of fear or desperation, I would uh, definitely caution against that and just uh, wait it out. Because the High Priestess is also showing up in this reading and the High Priestess is very much about um, sitting back, uh, letting things come to you and not chasing after things, you know, not trying to make something happen because of the scarcity mindset or this lack of abundance mindset which is very five of pentacles energy and the high priestess is very much about allowing um, yourself to receive whatever you're trying to manifest right it's not about trying to make things happen it's not about going out there and doing a bunch of things um, certainly make decisions that uh, work well for you like if you feel like you need to change your course of action or let's say you've tried a lot of things and it hasn't worked out for you and you want to try a new path or approach, definitely you can do that. But as long as the decision is well thought out and you're not making a spur of the moment rash decision, then it's fine. The page of wands is coming up as a reversal. Now pages are about communication and wands is fiery energy. But the page of wands is also this energy of like an optimistic message. Or something that um, really lifts up your spirits. But in this case, it's coming up as a reversal. So I feel like um, you may receive some kind of communication that may make you feel a little bit dejected or maybe uh, set back a little bit because that's coming up along with the Five of Pentacles. And these two are kind of connected, I feel. Maybe you received some kind of communication in the past because this is coming up as a reversal, so I feel like this is past energy. Maybe you received some kind of communication in the past which dampened your spirits or made you feel like, oh, it's not moving forward, nothing is showing up, you know, nothing is going according to plan, you know, that kind of energy. And that could have manifested in this uh, sort of five of pentacles energy, which is very much about feeling left out, dejected, etc., etc. But the five of pentacles is also this energy of drawing energy towards yourself, like untoward attention. And that can often attract um, not so good energy as well. So be careful about that, Sagittarius. You don't want to do that. 
you want to be in this beautiful high priestess energy which is very much about allowing um, the universe to give you what you want and at the same time it's also about receiving downloads from spirit because when you are in this high priestess mode you are very receptive to source energy you're very receptive to uh, receiving messages from the universe as to what you need to do next uh, so i would definitely advise you to you know be in a more meditative state like you can actually do some meditation or just be in that laid back, uh, relaxed, grounded energy, which will allow you to receive a lot of guidance and direction from spirit as to what you need to do next, right? So if you are making decisions based on those downloads, then definitely go ahead. But if it's going to be out of a sense of like scarcity mindset and what is going to happen, you know, that um, lack of abundance mindset then definitely hold off on making any decision queen of swords is coming up in this reading the queen of swords is very much about being assertive about who you are what you want what your standards are and actually making them known queen of swords uh, she doesn't make any uh, she doesn't cut corners and she doesn't really mince her words when it comes to telling other people what exactly she wants and needs and uh, it can rub people off the wrong way sometimes because it's quite blunt. She's not the most... Uh, uh, she doesn't really bother that much about other people and what they may think about what she has to say because this is her life. And this is uh, all about her choices and what she wants in her life. So, yes, I feel like Sagittarius, in the month of March, you are entering this energy where maybe you're done with uh, all the nonsense that might have happened in the past for you. And now you're really wanting to set some new boundaries, lay some new rules and just uh, be very cautious about who you allow in your life and, you know, the people you allow in your space. I feel like that's very much your energy in the month of March. So you are being very vocal about what it is that you want and also what it is that you don't want. I think that's very important as well. Like what you won't tolerate. I think you're being very clear about that. And it doesn't always have to be through words. You could be showing this through your actions as well. Like for example, maybe you decide you're not going to tolerate a certain kind of behavior anymore and you decide to show that through your actions, right? So it doesn't always have to be like a verbal declaration of whatever. Actually, actions speak louder than words. So maybe you're demonstrating that through your actions. We also have the Six of Cups turn up in this reading. And Six of Cups is this energy of nostalgia. It's the energy of reminiscing about the past. It's a kind of Cancerian energy. It's about reminiscing about the past, thinking about someone very dearly. Maybe, you know, someone you knew in the past. Maybe a family member, a romantic person in your life, love interest, whatever. But... It is the energy of nostalgia. So maybe some of you are going through that right now. Um, I, I get a feeling this is not really a love interest. I feel like this is more like um, somebody in your family, like a close relative, somebody very close to you in your family that you're thinking about with a lot of fondness. And uh, that's actually good. I feel like in the month of March, maybe you may be connecting with some of them as well. Uh, some of your close family members or people you're missing. You might be reconnecting with them in the month of March. I do want to do a clarification on what this Five of Pentacles is. Like why is Sagittarius feeling this Five of Pentacles? What is this Five of Pentacles energy? We have the Page of Swords as a clarifier. And we also have the Queen of Cups. Right. So your feelings might be getting in the way. Because Queen of Cups is... Cancer and energy, you might have a lot of cancer in your chart, maybe Sagittarius, those of you are watching this, or this could just be you being in your feelings, because Queen of Cups is very connected to her own emotional energy and her feelings. So this may be you um, being in your feelings and getting caught up in it, which might be resulting in this five of uh, pentacles energy. But I'm also seeing the page of swords turn up as a clarifier. And page of swords is this energy of um it's this energy of being a little bit cautious guarded uh, being in a chaotic situation having to look over your shoulder wondering if you're going to get attacked from the back you know very furtive energy very anxiety ridden energy it's not the most pleasant energy to be around especially if you're trying to attract something positive into your life this can actually dampen the whole thing um put a spoke in the wheel so to speak so I feel like the combination of your emotional state and 
maybe some kind of communication that dampened your spirits, this page of wands in reverse. And also your own energy, which is right now, it may be a little bit more anxious, worried, you know, wondering what's going to happen. It's not very trusting energy. It's not the high priestess energy, which is what you want to tap into. It's very um, worried, anxious energy, wondering what's going to happen. And if someone's out to get you, you know, that kind of energy. So it's not the best energy when you're trying to bring something or attract something into your life. So tap into the high priestess energy, Sagittarius. I think it's very important in the month of March to stay grounded. And also to get very clear about what it is that you want. Because the Queen of Swords, as articulate as she is about her standards and what she will and won't tolerate, she also knows exactly what it is that she wants. She's very clear about where she's going. And I feel like it's really important for you, Sagittarius, to be in that energy, to be very clear about not just where you're going and what you want in your life, but also as a result of that, what things, situations and people don't really resonate with that um future trajectory of your path because if you're still allowing people that don't really support that mission then you're kind of defeating the purpose right so yeah so be very clear about what it is that you want and then proceed from there accordingly so Sagittarius those are the messages I have for you for the month of March 2023 if you like this reading definitely give it a thumbs up your uh, likes really help my videos stay relevant in the YouTube algorithm and also, if you would like to book a reading with me, definitely drop me a message on Facebook or email. Both the links are in the description box and I'll get back to you soon. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.